The new Adobe Express makes it easier than ever to create content. I'm gonna create an animation from scratch. So I'm gonna start with an Instagram story, and then I'm going to go over to your stuff. And here I can find all of my files, and I can go over here to my brands and libraries, then go to brands and libraries, find the library you wanna work on, and then here you'll see all your color palettes, your icons, or whatever you save for your specific library. So I'm going to start building from scratch. So I'm going to just drag over this icon. And I'm going to scale it to fill my background so I have a background pattern in here. I'm going to kind of actually spin it just a little bit so the repeat pattern is not so obvious. Okay, and then I'm going to add some animations here. So first thing I'm going to start with is my key element. And so I'm going to drag my Jaguar head here, scale it up in size. And what I want to do is add an animation. So I'm just going to go down to animation. I'm going to go to in and you can see here, it shows you all the different kinds of animations. I'm going to do tumble in and then on the loop, let's see if we do breathe, and on the out, we'll tumble out. So let's see how that looks from the beginning. All right, pretty cool. So we have a five second little animation going on. So let's go back to our elements. And let me bring in a couple other details here. So close this asset and then well, let's bring in this little star. And I'm just going to zoom in here. Scale my star. And Let's see, let's make this animate. Let's go to animation. Let's go to looping. And blinking's cool for the star maybe, or let's see pulse. Pulse is nicer. We'll put the intensity a little lower and the speed a little lower. And so now we have one star so let's go back to that element and I'm gonna command C to copy, command V to paste. And so now I'm gonna take the element and put one down here. Just rotate it the other way. Maybe scale it a little bit. All right. And then let's close this out. All right, now let's just add some simple typography. So I'm gonna go here to my text and I'm just going to I'm going to add text and type in Studio Chico. And let's move our text up. Let's make it a color that we can see. So let's just make it this color for now. And let's go find a better font. Choose our font. Let's see if we get this separate line here, studio. And I'm going to give it an animation. Let's do in and let's do bungee in, looping. Let's do Let's do breathe. And we won't have an out. We'll just keep it looping. All right, so let's do that. And then let's copy this one and paste it. It's Command C, Command V. And then here, I can just go in here and type Chico. I can grab that corner and scale it. 
And now I have Studio Chica. Let's play and take a quick look. All right, let's go take the animation off. Let's actually make it longer. <clears throat> you see how it automatically just made it longer just by stretching it out. There we go. So let's make it 10 seconds. And then let's add a layer coming in here. Let's add some more text. Let's see, surface design. Let's move our text down first. And let's say surface pattern design. All right. And let's make this another color. Let's fill it with the yellow. Maybe we'll make it white again. All right. And maybe we'll make this a different font. So let's change that font. And then let's add an animation to this one as well. We can click show layers. And here we can see that we can go here and bring in these different layers. So we can bring this in. Let's go to animation. Let's go in. Let's do bungee, but it's coming up. And it just stays there because we have a lot of action on these guys already. So we have action on them. And then let's see both of these. So now I'm going to just shorten that layer so that it leads out sooner. And then I'm going to bring in some more text and I'm just going to add my All right, let's test that going out. We have that going in and we're done. All right, that looks great. So now all we have to do is we can share it directly from here, but I'm going to download this and it already has a preset to my resolution that I want because I chose the right template from the beginning. All right, our file's downloaded, and we can go up here and change the title. Go 
come back to our library and you'll see that it appears down here in your library. 